Thank you. For the debate, the member for Newmarket Aurora. Thank you, Speaker. I want to commend my colleague, uh, Mr. Miller, for bringing this important piece of legislation forward. And uh, as a member of the Public Accounts Committee, uh, I, I want to compliment uh, uh, Mr. Miller for his leadership as chair of the Public Accounts Committee uh, over the last two years as we have uh, investigated uh, Orange and uh, uh, in response to the Auditor General. I also want to take this opportunity to commend the Auditor General. Uh, both the former Auditor General as well as our current Auditor General uh, for the work that they do in helping us as opposition uh, members to hold the government accountable. I want to make this very clear. Uh, I do not believe uh, that uh, the legislation that's being brought forward, uh, which essentially simply allows the Auditor General to do uh, the work that is expected of an Auditor General uh, and to ensure that uh, the Auditor General has access to the information necessary to complete that task. This is not a partisan issue. This is not about the opposition versus the government. And there should be no defensive uh, posturing on the part uh, of the government related to this. In fact, what should happen? Uh, rather than seeing this bill go through the typical uh, private uh, bill process, uh, it should really be adopted by the government and implemented immediately. Uh, Lord knows that we have serious transparency issues and accountable issues uh, facing uh, the government of the day. Uh, I just want to, for the record, put uh, forward so that people who are watching this debate understand precisely what it is this act will do. I will quote uh, from the Act. Despite any other Act, the Auditor General is entitled to have free access to all books, accounts, financial records, electronic data, processing records, reports, files, and all other papers, things, or property belonging to or used by a ministry, agency of the Crown, Crown-controlled corporation, grant recipient or public contractor, as the case may be, that the Auditor General believes to be necessary to perform his or her duties under this Act." End of quote. That is the essence of this legislation. Speaker, anyone observing this debate would have to question why that isn't already part of the Auditor's authority. Let me read from the Auditor General's report on Orange. And I think it just uh, highlights the need for this legislation. Here's what the Auditor General said about his attempts to get to the bottom of what was happening at Orange. Multi-millions of dollars, Mr. Speaker, of public funds that should have been focused on delivering an essential health care service in the province of Ontario was squandered, diverted, and mismanaged. And the Auditor General was attempting to do his job to audit. But here's what the Auditor General said, and I quote from his report. We were given access to only those documents relating to entities that were controlled by Orange or of which Orange was the beneficiary. We were refused access to the records of any other entities. Orange's management and the board advised us that this was because the ministry was not funding the other entities directly or indirectly. Under the Auditor General Act, we are generally allowed to access only to organizations funded by the government. Here's the problem. The current act actually did not give the Auditor General access to those other corporations, and yet they were key to the waste and the squandering of public funds intended for our air ambulance service. Again, from the Auditor General's report, and I quote, the scope of our work generally excluded any observations that we might have made had we obtained full access to these records, end of quote. Speaker, I believe the reason that this is so critical is that there is such a doubt in the minds of the 
average person in this province about the integrity of government itself. It's no question that we have the kind of cynicism towards government and politics and politicians because what is missing is a very fundamental principle in government and that is the principle of transparency and accountability. And it doesn't matter which, uh, uh, which agency, it doesn't matter what ministry, it is all taxpayers' money. And it is our position that regardless of how far down the line and through how many corporate veils the dollar may flow that originates with the taxpayer, the Auditor General should have the right to follow the money find out where it's gone, what it is used for, and to ensure that there is integrity in the public services that are being delivered. <clears throat> that is the essence of my colleague's bill. I'm pleased to support it. It is that straightforward. And I trust that all members of the House will bring this to a vote, to a positive vote, and as I said, let the government take this on as its own bill. I'm sure my colleague will not be insulted by that. It'll be in the best interest of the people of Ontario. Here, 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 here.